Hello class. In this video, we will learn about ABAP screen navigation. So let's get started. In order to understand SAP ABAP, you need to have basic knowledge of screens like login, ABAP editor, logout, and so on. This video focuses on screen navigation and the standard toolbar functionality. So first of all, we will have login screen here. After you log in to your server, tab login screen will prompt for user ID and password. So whenever you log into your SAP, uh, login screen for the first time into your SAP server, it will prompt for uh, user ID or password. Following is the login screen, so just try login into SAP server in real time environment. So, this is how uh, SAP GUI login screen looks. It has client, user, password, and login language. Client is set by default by the SAP system administrator. For now, we have to give user and password. So let's try and try. This is our user. This is password. Now we have to press enter. On enter press, this screen will come with uh, three options. Continue with this login and, and any other logins on system. This is not recommended. Last option is terminate this login. So you just don't want to log in and just log out right here. Second option which is we are going to use. We will continue with this login and without ending any other logins on the system. So press enter on this option. So now we are on our home screen of SAP GUI and our SAP server. So let's see what next we have. We have successfully performed this step. Now let's get familiar with toolbar icons. This field right here is called command field. In command field, we usually enter T code known as transaction code like SE38 in our previous uh, video we have done so far. Top uh, this is bar is called menu bar. It has menu. Let me show you like help menu, system menu, extras, favorites, edit menu and current menu. And then we have standard toolbar. This one is called a standard toolbar. It has options like find, find in page, print and this first page, previous page, next page, last page. Also, it has option to create new session. It will open another screen. Simultaneously, we can open six screens at a time and to generate a shortcut. This one, the title here, easy access called title bar. And after, right down after title bar, we have application toolbar. So let's see further. Menu bar is the top line of dialog window, like this one. This is menu bar. Standard toolbar it has most standard functions such as top of page, end of page, page up, page down save and are available in this toolbar like this one. Then we have title bar. This is showing the app easy access. We have application toolbar. This one right here is application toolbar. And we have command field. We can start an application without navigation through the menu, transaction, and some logical codes are assigned to business processes. Transaction codes are entered in the command field to directly start the application. For example, let's try SE38 and directly we will go to a web editor. Okay, let's come back. As we have just started the transaction the ABAP editor SE38 to navigate to the ABAP editor. We have just performed this action. Now let's move forward. <laughs> so as you can see here, we have two menus. We can uh, add to favorite any kind of uh, transaction or short code. Like we can try adding insert transaction SE38. 
as you can see a bap editor transaction is now added in our favorite menu if you double click it it will navigate over to a bap editor initial screen without entering sc38 uh, in the command field and pressing enter it's like a shortcut menu you can also remove it and delete it and change it in the favorites after that we have sap menu it has all the standard functionalities and procedures and processes and workflows uh, given by SAP <coughs> all, all available in this system like we have logistic modules it has all the functions of material management SD sales and distribution production processes plant maintenance customer service quality management logic logistic controlling project system agency business center function the cross application components menu this is office menu this is our accounts people we have human resources menu information system and in tool we have uh, a web workbench let's see in development you can find me there a web editor is right here which we just use as c38 uh, and press enter so it will navigate us to a web editor <clears throat> so these are menus available so standard keys and icons let's talk about them we have exit key like sc38 center here we have exit key as you can see exit keys are used to exit the program module to log off they are also used to go back to the last access screen let's try see we come back to our original screen Let's close this menu we have back exit and cancel buttons in our uh, standard toolbar then we have check activate and processing button available here let's navigate to our Previously created report Z hello one Z hello one. So we have option here activate this program. We can also check for errors. Suppose if we just remove this period and then check for error, it will give us error. The last statement is not complete period missing. If we double click on it, it will navigate. Like you can see this red uh, arrow showing us that there is an error in this line of code and we can't also activate it it will show display errors cancel or activate anyways so period is missing we will add period and now check for errors it is perfectly fine syntactically correct we can activate it now it can be processed hello world i am doing changes great so these were three buttons which I just showed you what are the purpose of the so when you are done with SAP GUI you have done uh, whatever work you had on your SAP ser server uh, it's always a good practice to exit from your web app editor and log off from the same system after finishing your work so under system menu you have log off it will ask a prompt do you want to log off yes or no we will yes it so here was uh, <coughs> our today's lecture <coughs> a web overview of a screen so we have done so far a web screen navigation in this video thank you for watching